Hello, today let's learn about portal authentication configuration. First part, local portal. With the popularity of mobile internet terminals such as smartphones and tablet computers, more and more service places such as hotels, shopping malls, and restaurants need to provide free Wi-Fi to customers. The authentication of wireless access users and push of advertising information have become the basic requirements of this type of public wireless network. Ytech Gateway have the function to configure the portal authentication, and I'll introduce how to configure. Before we start to configure, let's connect AP to our gateway or via PoE switch. In this presentation, we will take AC105P as an example. You can tap in IP address to log in the web configuration page in the browser. The default login account and password are both admin. After you log in, you can see this page. Before we configure the portal authentication, we need to customize the Wi-Fi information first. Go to Settings, Wireless Networks to create a SSID for authentication. Let's look at the portal authentication setting method. Step 1. Select the relevant LAN port to apply portal authentication. Open Hotspot, Service Zone. Select the corresponding LAN interface to apply portal authentication. Step 2. Portal authentication information setting. Open Hotspot, Local Portal. Add page, push pictures, and select authentication method according to actual needs. Set jump web page links, etc., as shown in the following figure. Authentication method has the following options. First, one key auth method. Just click a button, one key authentication. Second, vouchers auth method. This is more commonly used in hotels. Customer will get a ticket with the account password. Third, local user auth method. This method connects once and works all the time with an account password that can also be changed. Step three, create authenticated user information. Open hotspot, local users. Click add as shown below. After you click on the add button, you can customize the login account, password, and the number of connections, and use default values for other information, as shown in the figure below. Step 4. Successfully added authenticated user. If you add it successfully, you will see the created login information in this list. You can create more accounts in this page and log in any of them. Let's learn about how to verify the result. First, the terminal connects to the wireless network. After the wireless terminal searches, auto test, the SSID number set in advance. Click to connect, as shown in the right figure. Second, enter authentication information. After the portal authentication page pops up, Enter the username and the password on the page and click login buttons as shown in the right figure. After the authentication is successful, it will directly jump to the set URL, such as your official website, YouTube, etc. The next part, voucher portal. Voucher authentication is a simple type of portal authentication, with which you can generate random voucher codes in AP controller and hand them out to clients. Then clients can use these vouchers to pass the portal authentication and access the network. 
it is especially convenient to use voucher authentication in places such as cafe, restaurant, and hotel. Then I'm gonna start the configuration steps. Step one, create a SSID. Go to settings, wireless networks to create a SSID for voucher authentication. Step two, Select the relevant LAN port to apply portal authentication. Open hotspot, service zone. Select the corresponding LAN interface to apply portal authentication. Step three, configure voucher login page. Go to hotspot, portal and select voucher authentication method. Login page as the right figure shows. You can also add promotional image as needed. Step four, create voucher portal. Go to hotspot, vouchers and click on batch add to create vouchers. Configure the parameters of the voucher to be created. Code length, amount of vouchers, amount of concurrency, rate limits and available time. Step five, print vouchers. The generated vouchers are displayed on the following page. Click print. Then you can print the following page and hand out the vouchers to your clients. How to verify if the configuration is succeed? Use vouchers to access the network. Clients can connect to the SSID for voucher authentication and enter the voucher codes to access the network. After the authentication is successful, it will directly jump to the set URL and connect to the internet. View certified customer information. Click on authorized user to view the information of clients that have passed voucher authentication. You can view the users who have been authenticated and who are using the network. That's all. Thank you for listening. Bye.